Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to talk about Tech 3 n or Taken 3 or however the fuck you want to call this piece of shit abomination. Oh god. Oh, I have a headache and I'm gonna have to talk about this movie. Taken 3 is the franchise that I didn't see the first two but I can still get what's going on. So I'm not totally blinded by this. So this is like if, if, if this was a movie that uh... I, like, I couldn't review, I wouldn't review it. It barely ever happens, but every once in a while it does, where, like, I just, I can't review this. But you know what? I understood this movie. I understood how it was, and I'll tell you why I saw it in a little bit. Uh, it stars, it's the franchise starring, like I said, it's the franchise starring Liam Neeson, who is, he's Liam Neeson, uh, it's the one that made him an action star and still makes him an action star, and, uh, yeah, uh, and it also stars K. Jensen, uh, Magna Grace in the franchise, and uh, Forrest Whitaker. Uh, and Forrest Whitaker. Uh, Forrest, yeah, like, I, I keep on saying him. So, the movie's about Brian Mills. He, he, he's, he has a relationship with his daughter, with his wife, his divorced wife, played by K. Jensen, and Fem... Fem K. Jensen, uh, and then dies, and then after that, now he's on the run. He's being accused of that. It's not really a spoiler. It happened in like the first ten minutes, and uh, and now there's a cop on the run, played by Forrest Whitaker. There's a lot of crime stuff going on with gangsters, yada yada yada. I was actually kind of looking forward. The trailer actually looked cool. I'm like, wow, this looks like a cool kind of fugitive movie kind of looks like The Fugitive, and it's kind of a bad copy of The Fugitive. This movie sucks, and uh, even though I didn't see the first two, I, I understood what was going on just fine, even though it was a convoluted movie. I guess I got the essence, I got what they were saying, I, I didn't, I wasn't like, huh, this, so this happened, this happened, like, I got what they were saying, it was fine. Uh, but this movie was just, oh, Good God, it was lame. Like, oh, really lame. Oh, God, it was dumb. And Oliver Megatron or Oliver... Don't make your name fucking fancy. You don't deserve to make your name fucking fancy. Oh, God, he's awful. I don't know what I'm saying, but it's just... <laughs> oh, God, the directing in this movie is awful. The action... It's not how you direct action. This is not action. Shaking the camera is not action. It's just like, whoa, 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 you can't see me. Yeah. Oh, God, this action sucks. It's like, it's freaking, oh, God. Man, I'm going on a rant. I, it's just such poorly edited action. I really hated the action in this movie. It was like, I could barely pay attention. There were a couple scenes here and there where I'm like, okay, this is pretty cool, but eh. Uh, and, uh, just the way it's shot, and it makes LA look ugly. And LA is a great city. A lot of cities shoot LA nice. Uh, but, and, and just, they make LA look ugly. I mean, I live in California, and as a Californian, and as a person that goes to LA a lot, of like two hours away from LA, uh, but you don't need to know that. <laughs> it, they make LA look such like an ugly movie, like, like such an ugly stereotypical LA. There's, there's a bunch of pop songs playing. I did see like the last scene of Taken Two on cable one time, and uh, it was on a pier, like the very last scene. This one's also on a pier. <laughs> oh God. I mean, there were some cool concepts. This did have potential, but the reality is, this movie sucks. I didn't even get into the acting. It's okay. It's not horrible, for the most part. The villains, the acting from them are awful. The cops, oh boy. With the exception of Forrest Whitaker, who's okay, but he can play this role in his sleep. Liam Neeson's good as the action star. I still like seeing him in this role, and I, I, I want to see that movie run all night. I think that movie looks awesome, but this one, this movie looks horror. But this movie was horrible. 
So I still want to see him as an action star, even though I don't like this movie. I still like to see him as an action star. I thought Maggie Grace would annoy me a bit, but eh, she was all right. Uh, and like I said, there were a few cool parts, but just the movie is just so dumb uh, and like so stupid. Like the fugitive stuff. If you're gonna make a good fugitive movie, if you're gonna make a good good crime thriller action movie, like I understand it's an action movie. Turn your popcorn off. But let's see great action movies. Captain America 2 did have some oh, comic bookish storylines, but it actually took it really seriously and worked well with what they had. Worked fantastically with what they had, and they made an awesome movie. This, while I wasn't expecting this uh, Captain America, uh, The Winter Soldier, I was expecting a much better movie, but just Olivia Megaton. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I hate did this movie. This is not how to make a film, let let alone an action film. You... This action is horrible, and if you're gonna, if you're gonna make a good crime thriller, and even action-packed crime thriller, you need to have legitimately, like, yeah, you also need to have good acting. This movie has serviceable acting. Uh, you need to have actually good directing. You need to have it on the edge of your seat. You need to have all the loose strings tied together. You need to have good twists and turns, not 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 stupid twists, villain twists and villain turns. This is not how to make a movie. Like this is a great film on not how to make a movie. It is a god awful movie and probably the worst of this year so far. I didn't see Men in Black, Woman in Black two. I was sick. God, I was sick. And I am going, like I said, I am going to review bad movies. So The Wedding Rigger, oh boy, here I come. And Mordecai, oh boy, here I come. And Girl, Girl Night and the Boy Next Door looks hilarious. It shouldn't look hilarious, but it looks unintentionally hilarious. Anyways, uh, like I said, January sucks, and this movie proves that. Uh, this movie's horrible. Don't fucking see it. <laughs> It did have some redeeming qualities, but some redeeming qualities it still doesn't make a fantastic movie. Nothing was absolutely great about this movie. It was either, eh, this, this didn't bother me as much as the movie. It's like, eh, my shit isn't as bad as diarrhea, as my diarrhea. I mean, it's still bad, but it's, it's not as bad. Those stuff. But it's like, God... I'm going to give this movie a D-. minus. It's god-awful. God, god-awful. There's even, like, laughing bad moments and, like, barely, but... Ugh, god. Just don't watch this. Don't, don't watch this. There's, like, not even a decent scene, like, to watch. Not, like, a decent, like, so bad it's good. Like, there were moments of, like, <laughs> that's kind of stupid. But, like, there wasn't, like, something that was, like, wow, like, like... The movie Rage that came out last year, which, that was better, because at least it had Nicolas Cage, and Nicolas Cage was calling this person, rat, rat, rat. I recommend watching that scene alone. That scene's great, and I actually kind of recommend watching Rage, so it's such a dumb movie. It's kind of actually fun to watch. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, it's awful, but it's fun to watch. This was just dumb. Don't watch this. Watch The Fugitive. That's a much better movie. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this shitty ass review. Fuck you, January. Fuck you. And, till next time, bye bye. God damn it, taking three.